I'm Melinda Sailors, and I have been fortunate after 14 years of applying to get my Black Hills Archery Bull Elk Tag. Our first morning out filming together, it was foggy and we had bulls coming in from every direction. Now this is a great shooter bull, but Melinda's comfort at shooting is 45 yards, and this bull walks in on a straight line before turning away. Well, the next day found us at a different spot as some weekend recreational campers had moved in where we were the day before. Didn't take long, we found a very entertaining non-shooter bull that my wife named Limpy. We relocated and again came across another decent bull. So it was a hot afternoon. We decided to sit by a pond that the elk frequently visit. As we approached the pond, Matt saw a shooter bull. This bull just never offered a clear shot at his vitals, and Melinda did the smart thing and avoided trying to force an arrow through all that brush. For several nights, we heard this bull bugling on a ridgetop, so we decided to go in early and intercept him.
the only thing you can do when they're this close is sit like a statue, wait for them to get bored and walk away, and then see if you can get a shot. Melinda tried making move, and the bull caught her out of his peripheral vision. He then disappeared into the brush with his cows. There were some tears of frustration that night. After taking a few days off for work, we were back at it with a positive attitude. Heard two different bulls bugling up over here this morning. We're gonna try to sneak in on them. Let's go have some fun. Well, it didn't take very long before we spotted a nice bull raking a tree up ahead of us. There are some moments in the elk woods where the hunter doesn't need to say anything.
So here it is, September 21st, and I just shot my first bowl. Um, Matt was doing a great job calling him in. He was back in the aspens, bugling, and I was sitting right here, and he was coming through the trees, and uh, I, uh, about 15 yard shot, pulled back, and now I got a big bull down over there about 40 yards. Retrieved my arrow, if you look, it's got the perfect coloring on it completely all bright red. I love the flat fact that my white fletching is pink. Boy, and if you look at that broadhead, that muzzy broadhead, it still looks brand new. Okay guys, here's how we do it, Team DOA. Big chunk of blood right there. And here's that beautiful bull I shot. Oh. He is beautiful. You know the cool thing about this is he was scraping on trees about 60 yards from us. And we set up a setup and snuck in on him. Oh, he's beautiful. So, it is September 21st. I just shot my first bull with my Hoyt reflex bow. And uh, he's a beauty. I like him. Um, he was back there in the aspens. My husband Matt called him in and uh, it was about a 15 yard shot got him right through the lungs i would like to thank casey williamson for helping me call when my husband wasn't able to and i'd like to thank my loving husband matt sailors for helping me out one of the reasons it's made this hunt so emotional for melinda and myself is the day before her season started i suffered a bad four-wheeler accident and i actually fractured seven vertebrae in my back and so I've been having to wear this back brace um, throughout the hunting season with her. So I wasn't even able to go the first 10 days of the season, but we were thankfully able to finish the hunt together.